It's kind of a funny story when I first met Lauren because I don't remember the first time I met Lauren. I first met Tim when I went to the dog park and this dog right here, Ladybug, she was about a year old and she was driving me crazy. She was like running around the house, just acting a fool. I think she ate the entire couch one time. It's not because I was at a bar or anything, it's, I had a real bad accident, I was in a lot of pain, broke a lot of bones, but I had to go to the dog park to do an interview with a news crew, and she was there. So she remembers the first time we met, but I don't, but then we met for, in my mind, the real time a few weeks later at the dog park. So my girlfriend Brandy, she was like, you need to go to the dog park and let her release some energy. So I went out there, and I saw a grizzled, grizzled man with a huge beard. And a sling. His arm was in a sling. And I was like, that man is sexy. What first attracted me to Lauren, I think it's her love of animals. Say, I love uh -huh. I love you too. <laughs> I love you. probably say her sweet car, her love of hot jams, but no, it's the animals. The first attracted me to Tim was how unbelievably sweet and tolerant he is. He was outside picking up trash with a broken arm and a huge beard at a dog park when the news was there. I mean, he just, he is so tolerant and so loving and so kind. And he had his white German Shepherd Jack out there. And Jack was older, so he was always making sure that Jack was taken care of and just really sweet. So it was very motivated, educated, very into planning, extremely. She likes to plan, a little bit anal about planning. Doesn't like to be spontaneous, but she's also a lot of fun. She's laid back, funny at times. Not as funny as me, though. I would describe Tim as the most wonderful man in the entire world. Like, willing to go so far for me. He just done a lot of things that I didn't think that he would do, that he was just more than willing to jump in there and do. Anything about Lauren? Probably how much she likes to have, you know, an agenda, you know, list made up of everything to do. And I like to fly by the seat of my band, so but we complement each other well like that. Sounds funny, but I just can't stand the pain Girl, I'm leaving you tomorrow Seems to me, girl, you know I've done all I can Oh, yeah You see, I beg, stole, and I borrow Oh, Sunday morning That's why I'm leaving yeah. I'm easy like Sunday morning well, We like to take care of our birds our dogs. We do a lot of volunteer work okay. with the rescue. That eats up a lot of our time. Yeah, it eats up most of our time, but so we do a lot of events like that. 
And then we got to watch a lot of bad TV. Tim and I are very competitive. Actually, I'm a competitive one. He just kind of goes with it. But we play slug bug. Two points for old school slug bugs, one point for regular slug bugs. We have the whole area mapped out. We know where all the ones are hidden. And we play every single day. And at the end of the night, there's always a winner. It's usually me. So that's one thing we like to do. We also play this game called Cooking School, which really revolves around me reading him a recipe and him cooking it for me. <laughs> I just read it out and he just kind of sautés it up and it's fantastic. Um, cooking school is awesome. We, we go to the dog park a lot to kind of rekindle those feelings. We go to church and then one of our favorite things to do is to eat at the Riverside Cafe afterwards. Um, eating some tasty breakfast food. We watch our shows together that we call we call them stories. We watch our stories, which is really like Teen Mom and Sixteen and Pregnant. My favorite memory of Lauren is this is when we were first dating. She had a foster named Frenchie. It was a handful. We were driving down Central. We noticed each other, like, what's that smell? So we look back and there's this giant pile of dog poop in the backseat of a Cadillac. And we also noticed the dog was no longer in the car. Frenchie jumped out of the window after she pooped on the seat. We were just walking in the parking lot over by, by Maxine's and Bed and Breakfast there, Bed and Biscuit. And nothing bad happened, so we, on our way to something, so we had to clean up the dog poop with a, with a sheet in the, in the trunk throw that away, then keep on driving with the smell of dog poop and these two dogs in the back seat. That's kind of how we started our relationship off. One of my favorite memories with Tim is going to the Boys to Men concert. Boys to Men is my all-time favorite band. I'm just <laughs> my guard, Phoebe. She likes Boys to Men too. Um, I love slow jams, like we call them hot jams. And I just, I love all the music. And Tim actually said that he would go. And we took um, little Tim with us and my best friend Tracy, or Happy. And the four of us were there. And my favorite memory is that they were singing I'll Make Love to You. And they were handing out roses into the audience. And I started crying. And he just grabbed my hand and he was like, it's my name. By default, my favorite color has to be yellow. I'm not sure if it actually is, but when I was younger, all my older cousins got the nicer color of cups. I got stuck with yellow, so kind of always liked, liked that color. My favorite color is clear green, like jello color green. She's kind of weird, but she likes a clear green. Like we'll go to like, an like antique stores, there's like, like little clear grapes, she's like clear green. <laughs> She also likes the baby blue color of her eyes, you know, like it's light blue, but the clear green. Not regular green, it has to be clear. Tim's favorite color is blue. If I could visit anywhere in the world, I don't know, probably something exotic with you know strange foods and strange people. If we went together, something a little more mainstream, you know, Europe, you know, nice art, museums kind of stuff. If I could visit anywhere in the world, I would visit Italy. I really have never been anywhere with my passport other than Canada and Mexico, so far away. I should probably just say like Paris or London or somewhere in Italy. You know, somewhere with nice food and art and culture. Tim hasn't been anywhere in the world. He's never even been to Disneyland or Disney World, so I'm sure so. Anywhere. In the city. I think Laura and I have an agreement where I get to name the boy anything I want. She can name the girl anything she wants. But I like one syllable names, like Tad or Ted. You know, then 
Although he's probably Michael. That's my middle name. That's my dad's name. She likes to call me T Mike. So if we need Dad or Teddy, they T Mike Jr. So she likes the name Banks, and I'm not too sold on that. I think it sounds kind of snobby. Like Carlton from Fresh Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> kind of knew pretty quick that I wanted to marry her. So, and we both knew pretty fast. It was a real, it's an easy decision. It was just that feeling I had deep down that it was perfect. Aww. I knew that I wanted, I knew that I really wanted to marry Tim, like the moment that I saw him. Like I know that he was kind of out of it for that first meeting, There's but. There's a beard at all. <laughs> but I just absolutely knew, like that is the man that I want to be with. That is the most caring person I've ever seen. That is the man that I know would be that person that's in my life forever. He had made me macaroni and cheese, the Velveeta kind with the shells and cheese with the peas inside of it. We're just watching TV and hanging out one night, and he brings me my macaroni and cheese, we call it P-Mac, and my ring was on the spoon. On the spoon. It was on the spoon. <laughs> and he was crying, don't let him tell you he wasn't. I wasn't crying. And he got down on both knees. One knee. Two. And he was like, will you marry me? And I just remember being like, really? 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 <laughs> Really? Really? <laughs> really? And... Then you cried a lot? I bawled. I think I threw up. <laughs> cried and cried and cried. You didn't throw up. <laughs> you cried and cried and you had to start calling people. And then I, I grabbed my phone and I just called everyone I knew. I'm like, oh my god, the ring. I can't wait till it has the wedding band with it. So, that's going to be the best thing ever. But, okay, so while we're, talk <laughs> while we're talking about the rings, um... Something that Tim and I wanted to do, because we're, we are sentimental people, um, we decided that we wanted one surprise, and I could deal with one surprise. So what we're going to do is to get our rings on the inside engraved with something secret. So I know what I'm going to put inside of Tim's. Do you know what you're going to put inside? Pretty much. Pretty much? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So he's gonna, he knows what he's going to put inside of mine, and then after we're done walking down the aisle, we're going to look inside the rings and read what the other person put inside there. So I'm really excited about that. Babies. Making babies. <laughs> we are planning on going to Alaska for our honeymoon, and I was telling a bunch of people that, and they said that the Northern Lights is the best place to make a baby. So... I don't know, it could happen, but yeah, we want a big family, lots of kids. Four kids? Five kids. Yeah. Five kids. Oh, five kids. Four at one time. <laughs> Okay, inside Tim's ring, I am putting see you tomorrow because every single night since the first night that we ever met, I always said see you tomorrow. Um, it's like the last thing that I say at the end of the night after like cuddling up in bed, I'm like see you tomorrow. And for me, it's just a promise of the future, which is something that both of us don't really have a lot in our past. And so when you say something like see you tomorrow, you mean it and you're gonna see that person tomorrow. So I'm gonna put inside of a ring I'm gonna put two spoons. We're not not exactly romantic or very mushy, but we propose on a spoon. She likes the big spoon. I've been spoon walking things. hard and really I've things, so. made a mess of me. It's very sweet to the point. Person that I've been lately ain't who I wanna be, but you stay here right beside me and watch as the storm blows through and I. Got me.